workout regimen on his Twitter oh, really? either today or yesterday. So if y'all trying to go to the gym and get oh, let fit, me go look that up really quick. Go ahead and follow Laid Fitness on Twitter and uh, find that uh that regimen. But we're gonna go ahead and start off game one on Town and City Kool-Aid versus Dale Rock on the red cheek today. We're gonna see how he's able to exert himself, of course. Uh got sent to losers. Who beat Kool-Aid and winners? I'm trying to remember. Oh. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Who beat Kool-Aid and winners? I can't remember. Who's unknown? Unknown, uh, unknown. unknown. That, that's who it was. Yeah, there we go. Now, uh, Kool-Aid, my man, if you don't remember, he got fifth at overclock number three, as well as second at the Players Ball in New York City. Kind of cut a lot of people off guard when he got that high of a placement. That was absurd. Got himself off guard. I was talking to him that day. Our ride had canceled. He was like, do I really want to go? And I'm then not he went. Here. got second place, so he's definitely got some fire still in him. You know, you got Dill out here who actually only got 17th at the last overclock and hasn't really done too much beyond that, so. Yeah, but this time already pacing better, right? Yeah. Just sitting in the top. It's already are guaranteed. So. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the match to get into top. This eight. might be the qualifier yeah, for the qualifier. it? Okay. Uh, here we go. Correct. No. Still a better placement. And Dill doesn't really travel too often. Like, he went to Glitch, he went to this, and it's pretty much just Xeno Week loose. All day, every day. And you always gonna have your people like that that are, like, admittedly very good, very strong, but just don't go out of region very often or yeah. aren't trying to just go that hard in the game. You know what I mean? But Kool Aid? Kool Aid gets the trump afterwards. The back air's not gonna be able to get that kill just yet. Nice oh, cap. That was absurd. You saw Kool-Aid go for the up air. It wasn't able to connect that final hit, and Dill got a punish on him for landing the up air. That was nuts. All right, we we rinsing that one out. We starting a new game here, one stock apiece. That was some of the strangest interactions I've seen in Smash 4, and I've watched quite a bit of this game, but hey, yeah. we working it out. Kool-Aid already starting off this second stock strong. And man, I was talking to Kool-Aid before. He said when Ultimate comes out, he plans on winning every single tournament he goes to for at least the first two months. So, wow. He's been grinding this game as much as he can to prepare himself. I mean, a lot of people are doing that. Got to be careful. There's going to be nothing but killers out there on them streets. Man. We're catching that roll onto the stage with a backer. Oh, I like it. I mean, I mean, that Diddy Kong gets a lot of down tilt. You know, it's just going to be, that's his shtick. Down tilt leads to the down smash, up smash, forward tilt, grab, like whatever your, your, your heart's desire. Top gun, no one probably never tried it, but hey, it probably works. Probably. Not, definitely not working. Yeah, though. definitely, definitely doesn't. Get that back here on the platform, got him at 88%. Nice catch, throwing it downwards to catch it, Kool Aid's landing. Okay. Oh. The throw into a bouncing enough. fish again. Now chases him all the way down there. Great DI coming from Dill. able to rocket barrel boost back onto the stage. Blade, trying to get on the stage. Oh no! What? I I think he forgot because he he might have done a drop from ledge jump vanish maybe and then got down tilted and thought that he might have had the van the, the jump still and it probably went low and then tried to jump. Well, let's watch the replay here. Yeah, let's see what happened here. Because the first one he re grabs ledge. Yeah, he does a he does a jump vanish there and then doesn't realize he doesn't have his jump. Yes. You hate to see that happen when you just like when you realize you don't actually have your resources still, you know. Because he was going for something cheeky. He wanted to vanish like on stage and hit him and kill him yeah. from the edge. There it was very ratchet option, but in Kool Aid's I mean, arsenal for sure. Why not go for something like that when it's like the last stock of the game, you know? Yes. Hey, take it. And you got a few more games to play here, so may as well see what you got. One in the hand, one in the bag, bubbling Kool-Aid out here trying to see what more he can do. Try and get one on the board here. What's well, a pretty close game one, so. Uh-oh. Wolf behind him. He's not letting him land. He doesn't let him play the game. Looking like Marvel. Oh, we got the command grab coming from the side B. Able to attack on some free damage. You don't see really Dill use that too often. Yeah, what I like from Dill there is he actually punishes the fact that Kool-Aid grabs the banana with the jump and an air dodge. Try to chase him off. Try to punish the air dodge. He didn't quite get the spacing for the fair to connect. Kool Aid with a beautiful pivot grab, though, forcing Dill off stage once again. Just looking to confirm that KO. Sheik's, of course, one solid weakness has always been getting that strong hit, but he does have setups. He got setups out the wazoo. Uh oh. Tempio's gonna eat that vanish. There we go. Down tilt. Good. I mean, Kool Aid was able to fall out of that up smash. A little worse there. Gives himself another shot. Time he's solid. He's solid on smash coming. Just wanted to monkey flip completely out of there. Give him some horizontal distance. 
And that's where you got to be careful, right? Because we've seen uh, in this exact matchup where people start to read those monkey clips and just dash to the other side and charge the up smash over there. Once a down air off stage, not going to be giving it to him. Okay. Down tilt, not going to be able to get too far. Rolls right behind him, catches him with the up smash. That moves good, man. It's so fast. It's definitely one of the options that people I feel like are never looking out for in terms of that high percent. Like, I gotta avoid the grab, I gotta avoid the downside. And it's a good option on Town City with the low ceiling, you know? Mm hmm. Just like Toon Link's up tilt and Brawl, man. No one was thinking about it. But that up air, beautiful catch on the landing. Kool Aid's gonna be able to tie the stocks up once again. We'll see if he'll be able to write a different script than the last game. But first, get your grab conversions, rack up that damn. Feel right in front of him. Right, I like the back here out of shield, just be able to just kind of force uh, Kool Aid -Like just to go back a slight bit. Yeah, I like the way they try to space around the shield here. Dash back, Kool Aid trying to get the grab, trying to roll behind, get the second grab, gets it a second time. Will not get the bouncing fish though. Oh, that vanish on center stage. I don't think he expected Dill to monkey flip and be right there next to him. I didn't think he'd get punished for it. But look at this extended pressure sequence from Kool Aid. Just an excellent chase coming from Kool Aid, man. You saw him rolling onto that platform. He nearly got that short hop afterwards. Now, at this point, you see Ooh. him going for a nice read afterwards. Knew he was immediately just going to go for the air dodge. So he misses the ledge completely. Allowed Kool Aid to jump right back into him, connect that back air, get the stage spike, and call it a day. So, that forward throw. Waits comes down and just... Yeah. He actually baited out the forward air because he went for that short hop just to be like, yo, I'm going to chase you. Mm -hmm. It forced Dill to go for an option like, oh, you're challenging me? I'm going to challenge you. That's exactly what Kool-Aid wanted. You put all according to plan as we jump into game three. I love Kool-Aid, man. The way he plays Sheik. Still to this day, one of the most unorthodox Sheiks that I've ever seen, but it just goes to show that there's no one correct way to play this game. You know what I mean? Correct Amondo, dude. He's a good Sheik. Back to town. Diddy Kong versus Sheik yet again. Game number three in this best three of five set. All of top 48 is best three of five. Uh, we like to run in here at Overclock by Overclock Gaming. Shoutouts to Eduardo Temper. Our uh, TO holding it down here. Just got picked up by the Boston Uprising to do their stream content production as well. So we're making moves out here. Speaking of making moves, make sure you go to Let's Make Moves coming up in December. That's right. <laughs> Trying to go for the grab afterwards. We saw a dash attack going straight through the shield. I like the way that Hule just controls the stage. So dash forward, dash back, jump, charge the needle. He's really not throwing out an attack during that entire sequence, but you can feel the pressure. He exerts stage control and dominance through this aggression that isn't through actual physical attacks. Got a bit of a roll fest going on. Yeah, but again, you'll notice that Dill likes to go for that banana peel toss towards the ground just to be able to catch Kool Aid's landing in case he wants to approach to him or jump into the peel. Whichever one he wants. Oh. Yeah, that smash attack get uh, just completely charged already. Man, just to stuff it with the forward air. Now we see him dashing back to center, throwing those needles, trying to get a little bit of extra percentage, both whipping their punishes upon one another. That looks like Dill will be the first one to manage to land successfully a hit. Kool Aid using the banana peel. Didn't get the trip though. Ooh, he was able to air dodge in time? Thought so. Again, going for the air dodge again. Kool Aid desperately warning that vanish kill option. They're both on the top platform. Dill just immediately escapes because he knows he has more to lose. Back throw. Try to catch him with DI mix up. Again, you'll see Dill going off stage to throw a banana peel just in case Kool Aid was hanging on a little bit too yeah. long on that platform. I feel like this one's gonna be looking for like a down tilt on the ground or even like a forward air and grab foul, forward throw. And he's pretty much anything his heart desires. Opts to go for the forward air instead to get that kill off the side. Now he's gotta stay away from Sheik's grab because Sheik wants that grab so he can lead into an up air out of the air dodge. Still living. Blur doesn't kill him, makes him stronger. Able to get that power shield up just in time. That active hitbox, you gotta be wary. That is active the entire time. Yeah, just like that. 
Kool-Aid finally able to get that stock turned out, bouncing fish to great avail. And now, time to see from final grab, start getting those conversions to rack up that beginner damage, if you will. So a lot of people will say that Smash 4 doesn't really start until you're around 40-50%. Everything up until that point, just trying to get your guaranteed damage. Mm -hmm. At this point, Kool-Aid's doing a fantastic job of just keeping Dill at bay, applying pressure when he sees the opportunity to go for it. And he's also trying to play a projectile game just a little bit when he sees him far, a little bit far away before Dill starts coming up with the Diddy Kong just started swinging hands. Yeah, you can even see just how crazy the range on that detail is. A perfectly immaculately spaced detail from Kool-Aid still lost to the down tilt. Uh, rather, still got punished by the down tilt from Dill. Come now, trying to get back on stage. Detail grab, let's throw him up. Forwarder, okay, gets the damage. He's like, all right, he's not quite at the point where I need to be fishing to kill him. Even with the low ceilings here. Ooh. Never mind. I'll take that back. You got the forward smash. Able to get that kill. We got Dill taken away. Game number three takes a 2 1 lead against Kool Aid in this best three five set. Perfectly calculated. Manages to get him. Oh, throws it. I think he threw it straight down at a shield. He's able to get that trip and then just forward smash him to the blast zone. Now Dill 2 1 up in the set. Kool Aid needs to win two in a row here if he doesn't want this to be the end of his loser's bracket life and his tournament. We're gonna be going with this town and city a third time. Yeah, like I said, winner of this moves on the top end. That's a very good spot to be in. Let me tell you what. And he gets that grab into a bouncing fish just for a little bit of damage. So far, looking good for Kool-Aid out the gate. Now with the fair, gets two, three. Backing it up, waiting for the tech in. Oh no, doesn't actually uh, get the punish there though. Feel the toss up and have to upwards into that back here just to push Kool Aid off a bit. You can slip, slip it on that peel, man. Gotta look out. Okay, that's gonna be a weird sequence of trades right there, but Kool Aid does come out on top. I think he goes right under the forward tilt. Uh, sometimes you have little cheeky in the rackets like that, which is where a character's hurt box can be. Ooh, I like hey, that forward tilt. Stuff while we get Dill is feeling himself a little bit. Goes that pivot forward tilt into a down smash, but you know what? Kool Aid runs in, gets the diamond cutter, taking away that first stock from Dill. Yeah, the dynasty coming into full effect here. Ooh, tries to shield the command grab, but that's not how that works. You never really know. Is it the command grab? Is it the monkey flip kick? This side being general for Diddy Kong is a 50 50. Yes. In a nutshell. Ooh, there you go. Forward air that oh, platform. That was really sneaky. You saw Kool Aid trying to get that grab on as the platform drags him through. Easily been a taxi cab to the blast zone mm -hmm. and a cheeky stolen game four, but hey. Land the mark, that's a grab, get that damage, forward air. And now Kool Aid's in an immaculate spot, racked up so much damage, gets a cheeky down air, even more percent racked up, up air, not enough to kill. What? It is? Okay, we take that. Rage plus Town and City. Definitely got that kill, dog. Like he was just feeling himself with that conversion. Watch that again, you know, just gets a down tilt into up air at 97% with Sheik yeah. getting the kill. All right, we take those. That was a great conversion come from Dill as well. You saw him running in there, but then gets caught yeah. completely by the diamond cutter up smash. It's like the moves you don't want to trade with in this game. Definitely not one of those moves you want to trade with. Just it's just strong. It hurts. Uh, every game it's been in, even in Brawl, she was booty in Brawl, but like that move still slop. Mm -hmm. Bring back Dakus, free Dakus. Maybe someday, man. All right, here we go. Town and City one more time. Game number five. Who, winner of this is going to move on to the top eight. Who's going to go down with a ninth place finish here at Overclock 4. Pretty much the final Smash 4 tournament in this area. Yeah. Let's see how it all shapes up to be. What will the storyline be as we head into a new game? Will Kool-Aid be able to make a, a bigger splash at the final regional tournament to put this region kind of on the board a little bit? Who knows? See that rocket barrel boost going from Dill just to apply shield pressure of all things? We get creative in 2018, yeah. man. Onto the uh, barrel technician coming out. Ooh, beautiful spot though, I like that a lot. Yeah, Dill was trying to get that punish on the landing with the grab, but he clearly was already at the ready. So I know exactly what you want. You can see spacing himself around the monkey flip kick to get that grab as well. But getting tossed around like a salad, my man. Needs to be careful. Oh, he wanted to trade. 
Yeah, but like Dill, you saw him space the way he was spacing that forward air. Even if that would have connected, it would have been a super sour spot. Okay. Good roll away from Kool Aid, trying to avoid that slip on the banana peel after the throw. And we always have to remember just how busted neutral getup was in this game. Wow, that back was actually gonna kill. But we saw Dill just immediately neutral getup in a spot dodge, and you saw Kool Aid forward tilt. Just Dill not be able to catch it. Like. Bouncing fish to catch the monkey flip. Yeah, you can see he used the grenade as well to force Dill to recover high. He just didn't want to mess with that hitbox. Ooh, careful. Okay. Coming down now. Trying to go for the up air. Going to send him up. Trying to get that follow up on the platform. I mean, he was at super low percent. I think it was at zero. So it's, yeah. like, it's not going to be able to send him anywhere. Even with that rage. I like it. He tries to wait for the shield to dwindle a little bit, but still couldn't get the shield poke. Kool Aid fishing for this kill now. And at this point, he's getting to, to F tilt killing percent. Yeah, you got Diddy Kong Stan at 154%. And trying to get that forward air on the edge of the platform. Still applies some pressure against Kool Aid. He just walked up to him, got the grab. Even play, because, because he planted the banana peel in such a fashion where Kool Aid would have rolled to the left, he right. slipped immediately. So Kool he knew he was going to do a normal get up. Jumping all over the place. Oh, the vanish actually pushed him away from grabbing the ledge. That's a hilarious limbo. Wind, you hit. Wind boxes, man. My god. It's like, oh. Hey, we're gonna jump into this final stock here. Are you feeling that breeze, man? Oh, no. I feel something. Push him away. All right, man, peel popped a balloon and it just disappeared. Dill was waiting for the peel to come back down. It's like, where'd it go? They're trying to challenge with the uh, forward air. Managed to pick up the peel himself. Almost oh, got spiked god. by a down air Kool Aid. Looking for this opening. Wants a pivot grab. Tell how hard he wanted. It looks so clean as well. Just spacing and perhaps a DI from Dill, keeping him on the stage, not getting immediately deleted there. But Kool Aid is waking up. He is making this comeback now, tacking on so much damage. Dill, if he wants to close this out, now's the time, man. He's got 83%. He's got Kool Aid's looking for something oh! sneaky. Down till end our up smash. Dill taking away that set from Kool Aid. Three to two victory. Move it on to top. Eight. New York City shouting you're in the background. Yeah, by I mean, the way. It ain't Tri State if it ain't you're. Yeah. And you know, Mouse Flash was yelling at us for uh, you saw earlier because they were they were cheering for Little yeah. Boy, but hey man. Yeah, a lot of shouting out here. I mean th this venue is like in between like two restaurants, or so that like this the owner told him. So I say you can't chant or do anything too loud around here. No, no, we, we, we still force uh, it. Yeah, that was a fantastic replay by the way. You saw a black stream. Beautiful. Yeah, that, great, that, that great, was like, great, yeah, very, very Top nice. quality. Why do you try to hurt me, Austin? So we got a, <laughs> so we got a Dill moving on to top 